to writing done right. Well, today we are going to expand on my video looking at business cards and labels, and we're going to start with a LibreOffice template for a business card template that doesn't exist. We're going to build it, and then we are going to end in a shiny sheet of nice, glossy business cards. So stay tuned. So thanks for coming along on this video. I am Tom Roski, an author and a technology consultant, and today we're going to be looking at some more advanced features in LibreOffice, and we are going to talk more about your business cards. Now, I did a previous video on this that is going to be very helpful, uh, and I did business cards and labels as in the title, although I focus mostly on labels. This one we're going to do exclusively business cards. Now, this is an Avery template, uh, Avery 8859. What I like about this this is these are uh, glossy two-sided printable clean edge business cards and of course I don't like going online and grabbing their template do you know that Avery actually has a uh, terms of service and a EULA for using their templates kind of weird um, but we're going to not do that now here's what my cards ended up looking like so they are very nice Go ahead and uh, let me block off the light a little bit there so you can see it there. So that's what the cards are going to look like. So these are to hand out. I'll be at a writer's conference in a couple of weeks when I'm recording this. And uh, I do have some old black and white kind of ugly low res cards. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and print out a few color ones. Now the challenge of this Avery template is it does have this half inch margin in the middle which allows it to get much much cleaner business cards than the old perforated edges where you printed your business cards at home and people kind of knew you printed your business cards at home. These things look like super professional though uh, as long as of course you design them right and I would still like to crisp out the logo a little bit more but hey we'll do that later. But what we're going to do here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump over onto the computer and we're going to show you, let me actually save this one before I close out here. So over here on the computer, um, now this is the old card and the one that we need to do is going to be this one, I believe. We're not going to update the links. So I basically want to produce these cards and um, onto a new template. One of the challenges is I don't think I have a high res of this logo either. I might. I might have that one on this computer. I'm not sure. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to save this logo to the desktop though just in case I need it. And we're going to call it OUICP b dash logo just in case I happen to need that uh, image for this next step. So what we're going to do is in LibreOffice we're going to go under new and then business cards. Now if you flip through and see if there happens to be an Avery template um, you can go ahead and pick one. In this case this particular one 8859 it does not have one and I didn't find anyone that was specifically uh, significant. Now I'm ignoring the the private and the business data, I just want to drop in with a, uh, just with a, a blank template. So what we're going to do is we have to look at a few different things. Now, you might need to get you a ruler out here. So uh, jumping back to me here, here's the uh, cards. And what we have is we need to make sure that we know our different margins. So we have a, um, we have here our left margin. We have the width of the card itself, which is from the margin to the margin. But you'll notice we have this half inch gap in between the cards. You're going to set this with what's called your horizontal pitch. So since my card is three and a half inches and this is a half inch, I'm going to set a horizontal pitch of four inches. That's going to say the card's three inches, but in four inches is where we're starting the next card. And that way we get everything set in. So you have your upper margins. Now the template that I found was almost exactly what I needed. The only thing that it was lacking was changing this horizontal pitch from three and a half inches to four. The vertical pitches, of course, if there were gap, uh, if there were gap between the top and the bottom of your card, you'd want to set a horizontal pitch as well. There is none, so we're setting the horizontal pitch the same exact height as the card. 
Make sure you have your ruler handy in the event that you need to measure any of those directly. And then just make sure your horizontal pitch or vertical pitch is set. What's the width of the card, the height of the card. And then the left margin and the top margin are the left and the top margins of the paper. And then give it the columns, rows. Now the page width just needs to be whatever um, uh, whatever is going to work. So in this case, it automatically calculates eight because it's going to ignore the bottom half inch and the, uh, and the rightmost half inch of the margin. So it's okay that it says eight and 10.5 instead of eight and a half by 11. That's perfectly okay. Then under options, you want to make sure you do entire page and make sure the synchronized contents is set up. Go ahead and hit our new document. All right, so here we are on our new page and uh, we see have a synchronized label button. Don't make sure you don't close that. Just move it off of your side there. So we're going to go ahead and just basically I'm just going to rebuild this whole this whole thing exactly as it is. I'm just going to copy this information here, and we're going to just put in a couple spaces. Do this, and then we're going to click up here and add our logo image. Uh, I, I want to make sure I make uh, have a good quality logo. This may not be the best quality logo I could have, but that is going to be okay, I think. We're just going to do that. We're going to do that. And then push. Um, you'll, occasionally, I'll throw these extra things up here. These do not seem to impact uh, a lot. I think, uh, let me double check one thing, though, real quick. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let's hit a space, hit a space and hit a space that way that um, that way it looks like things will will match out a little bit and here's what the original card looked like here's what the newer card looks like on the newer template and I'm okay with the logos a little bit smaller uh, that's actually okay let's in fact make it even a little bit smaller yet hey the smaller the logo I make it with a low res image the better it's gonna look now the one concern that I have is if this text is going right up to the edge of the print line this may cause some problems and so what we might want to do is you might want to add a little bit of margin into your uh, block. Now to do this, head on over to your frame styles. And <clears throat> inside your frame styles, we have a label. So right click and modify your label. This is actually what's setting the labels to be what they are. So what I'm going to do is under this, I'm going to go under our borders section. Make sure you deselect the synchronize here. And I'm just going to add just a little bit of padding, not a whole lot, maybe 0.6 on each side. This is going to bring in about 0 0.06 of an inch. That should be 0 0.06, not 0 0.6. This will bring in 0 0.06 of an inch just to make sure that the text is not going to uh, be right along the print edges. Once I'm pretty happy with that card, and I am, so independent Christian publishing, ebooks, print books, here's my name. Uh, you know what? I think having slash owner in there is a little tacky. It's kind of like the guys, you know, the, the young kids that are like 18 that start their company, right? CEO on their business card. Let's take that off. Uh, push synchronize labels, and now we should be set to go. So the first thing we're going to do, first actually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this guy, and I'm going to save it as OWIC. PUB. I'm going to save this as Avery dash or Avery eight eight five nine. That way, I know which business card templates. I have a few different packs of business cards. Now we're going to go ahead and run print. Hopefully, the printer's still working. Um, sometimes this guy is a little bit uh, finicky. The just the network printer. We're going to go ahead and push that. And once that guy prints out, then what I'm going to do now? I'm printing this up on blank, on just regular paper. First, you always want to start with regular paper. Uh, that way, you can take your overlining because regular paper is a few cents a sheet. Business card paper is, you know, 10, 20 cents a sheet. So, you want to, you know, in fact, if you can do it and figure it out on scratch paper too, that'd be fine. And uh, I actually did a whole stack of them earlier. I kind of ran a whole stack of these as tests. Uh, that I was having issues. So this, though, I'm pretty confident should work the first time. We'll go ahead and have a look. All right, so just having a brief look at it here. Looks pretty good. The, the logo, it, like I said, it could be higher res, could be a little crisper, but 
that's okay, we'll deal with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the printed copy, I'm gonna put it behind the business card paper. I'm gonna hold it up to a light source. Uh, since I have a uh, light in front of me for filming, that's actually what I've been using. Otherwise, hey, use the window back there. Uh, in fact, if I just hold this up to the window and look at it, it actually looks pretty good. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm gonna move my light around here. And you can see that um, all of everything is lining up just right. Nothing is going right over lines. Everything is just a really, really brief amount in. So I would say this is a resounding success. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and drop two more sheets of this in the printer paper. And we're going to go ahead and print two copies out. I'm going to print just the first one to make sure it's good. And then we'll print the second one after that. And I'm going to put the ruler back where it belongs before I forget. All right, so here's what we got. And everything is just far enough away from edges to look nice, clean, and professional. The coloration looks good. The logo's fine. Um, it's not horrible, so that's uh, perfectly okay. And I'm actually not going to break these apart until I get down and closer to the conference because I won't need them until then. And I'd rather just keep them in good shape. So, with that... There's how you can use LibreOffice, create business cards, create a template that may not exist in the template, just starting with what they have and doing some manual adjustments. And then you can get your business card paper and print high quality business cards at home using LibreOffice. So thanks for watching. Have a look over the website, writingdoneright.net. I do not think we will have a companion um, um, blog post with this particular video, but... Um, uh, definitely have a look at the other resources and things on the website at writingdoneright.net. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I hope that we have taught you how to get your writing done right.